I'm here to talk to you guys about why our drugs that are sold in stores seen as gay drugs. And uh, I decided to choose this topic because uh, I can personally relate to it and I also know people that have suffered from long-term side effects. Um, so when I was a little kid, basically, and when I had the stomach flu, my mom never, uh, my mom never, she never gave me any types of medicines that were sold in stores. She just gave me regular old uh, oil that she used to cook, and I'd have to drink that, and that would cleanse my stomach. And after after that, I'd be able to eat, and I'd be all good. Um, so the drugs that you guys are probably wondering about, uh, drugs such as Advil, Bayer, Tylenol, uh, Aleve, uh, or Motrin, or any other pain reliever that are sold in stores, most people see them as good drugs, but really they're not good drugs because they have really bad effects on you, such as... <coughs> Well, short-term side effects are uh, heartburn, stomach pain, uh, diarrhea, and vomiting, which you guys may think that are not that bad, but really, uh, if you start taking these pills more and more often, uh, then you start developing long-term side effects. And I'm sure you guys are all familiar with George de Leon. Uh, last year, he played soccer a lot, and from playing soccer a lot, he had pain. So his doctor recommended him that he take two ibuprofen pills every day. And so he did this, and after two weeks, uh, he went home one day, and as he was going up the stairs, he collapsed, and he ended up in the hospital because he was taking these pills uh, every day. And the doctor told him that he had a bleeding stomach ulcer, which is not good, um, which is also, um, one of the long-term side effects, which can also be uh, liver or kidney damage, uh, bleeding stomach ulcers, dizziness, and uh, rashes. <coughs> and uh, I also interviewed two nurses. Uh, one of them was named Antonio Atlas and Mr. Conley's sister, Casey. And I asked them about how they felt about these drugs that are being sold in stores. And they both told me the same thing about how they're not good drugs, but they're also not bad drugs because if you have a plan, if you have a pain or a headache or something, and you take this every once in a while, then you'll be fine. But if you start uh, relying on these drugs every now and then for when you get sick or something, then you'll start developing these long-term side effects. And unless you want to die, you find up in a hospital that you shouldn't be taking these because each year a uh, hundred thousand people are hospitalized because of these drugs. 16,500 people die each year because of these drugs. So it makes you wonder about how, it makes you wonder why are these drugs being sold in stores, and it makes you wonder if the government could be behind this. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, my solution to this would be, you can go back. Companies should uh, put this on all of their uh, boxes and also on the aisle where they sell these in the store that they should have a big sign that says for the risks that you are if you take these. 